maybe like eyeball it from the top. We're all just so excited and everyone's like, one more day. Oh, no, 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 it's not coming off. Oh no. But I do want a reaction shot of them all opening it individually and I will for sure add that. Hello you guys and welcome back to the vlog. This is the vlog where we prep for the bridal shower. I'm gonna show you everything that I'm packing, but right now what we are doing is getting together my bridesmaids bags. Now you may be thinking, Amanda, did you just go on a tropical holiday? <laughs> no, I just had the first spray pan, spray pan. I just had my very first spray tan ever. I was so nervous about it, but it was amazing. It was by Fine Burlington. She reached out to me to see like if we create a reel, like could she come and do the service and see what it's all about? Just because I was hesitant because I've never had a spray tan before. I didn't know how it would go. I'm also a very pale woman. <laughs> um, but here are a couple of the clips from that experience. The woman who runs it, Olivia, who like does all the mobile services, she was so amazing. She made me feel so incredibly comfortable because obviously, they're getting all, all up in your business. <laughs> you know what I mean? Trying to get that spray tan nice and even. I do definitely have a little tan line on the bottoms and it's so impressive to see the color difference. So I'm very excited. I host a panel tomorrow and then we go away to Kelowna. So what I'm doing here, I'm at my parents' house. We've got the Cricut all set. This is so funny. I've been sh shooting so many short form videos that it's so nice to have long form. Shout out to YouTube. We've got our Cricut. This is the Cricut maker. And then online on Amazon, I purchased all of these sweaters. Let's get them out. Five of these sweaters and one that is a male sweater. So this is for Russell. And then I've got five from the drop. I'll tag these down below because actually they feel incredible. Like they're light and they're really nice and stretchy. And then, oh, and then when I went to the States, you guys would have seen, I also picked up a lot of um, vinyl. So I was asking the woman in Hobby Lobby, here's our bag from Hobby Lobby, if I can use this vinyl. And she said, yes. So this is 405, it was 699, but that is United States prices. And then we purchased a couple of other things. And I also purchased totes because I'm gonna be putting logos on here as well, because that is what I'm gonna be putting all of their like goodies in because I also reached out to a few companies that I absolutely adore and I said hey I really want to put something special together for my bridesmaids and my man of honor and I want it to just feel really special for them so I got sent a couple of products I'm going to take you through the process of that as well and maybe even my like pdf that I created basically this is not going to be like a 20 year old early 20s bachelorette that is kind of something different that maybe like I would have planned in my early 20s where you go to like Vegas or you go to do something that's like really party centric. This is more like a wellness retreat, I'm not gonna lie. This is very much bachelor in your 30s, wine, dressing up. I think we're doing some active things. I'm not 100% sure what we're doing, but I just want it to be so special for them because I know that they have also put so much love into it. So today we're gonna put this logo that I've created from Canva onto these sweaters using this vinyl. There are six of them that we have to create and it's going to take so much time. So let's get going. My mom is also gonna be helping weed out, oh, a chipmunk just ran across the deck. <laughs> um, my mom is also gonna help weed out the vinyl and I am just like buzzing. Like I can't wait to see this come together because I have this vision that we get to the airport and I have all of their bags and I get to like film their reaction of like getting these bags and then we are all putting on our sweaters and it says angel crew because I call them my angels just like you guys and I can't wait. One tip also that I would say, if you're creating stuff for a bachelorette, try, try I mean, it's honestly whatever you want. But in my mind, I was like, I'm putting so much effort into these sweaters I want them to want to wear them again. I don't want it to be like Amanda's bachelorette. So that's why I have Angel Crew and the Angel Retreat. Not even dates, just with their own personal initials. So, but let's do it, I'm so excited. Thank you. Sam, hi. I'm at my parents' house, so Sam and Casey are here. Hello, Casey. Hello, sweet boy. He's feeling a little sore. And my mom's gonna be helping me because I need all hands on deck and she would be more the pro with this. So I'm gonna make sure that I tag these because mom, I got six in one pack and they have zippers. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so I think what we do is... Press them? 
We're gonna prioritize the sweaters first because okay. it's obviously more important. And then if we have some leftover vinyl, I'm sure we could get like a bunch of logos kind of laid out and like do it just like the roses we did. Yep, we can do that. I've been thinking about your day and night Ever since I saw you with your deep blue eyes There was something that I just couldn't deny. So as a little impromptu, unofficial showing of this. This is what I've made. So this is what I use to pitch brands to basically say like, this is what's happening and I would love if you'd be par participating in this um, and kind of like, this is the content that I could also make and also showing them the vibes of what we're going to be making today. So location, Kelowna, BC. And these are the things that I purchased. So those are the bags. These are the shirts. Basically sharing with them that I'm going to be cricketing these things with the cricket right here. And then these two logos, I put them together from different art that I found on Canva because I'm calling them the Angel Crew. I knew I wanted to have wings, but then I loved these mountain aspects because of going to Kelowna. And then I'm calling it the Angel Retreat. I made two. One is kind of like with water and stars. I feel like that's more of a nighttime one, but I feel like I identify more with this sun one because I want to bring all that sunshine. Um, and then on the front, little angel wings. I hope this doesn't look like the, I'm just thinking like, I hope it doesn't look like when someone is alive and then dies, you'll have to let me know, like the actual initials. But, and then the back, that's where the big logo will be. Cause I just picture us like all back to back with a really cute photo. And then I also want to make these tote bags. I found some inspo on Pinterest and I really love this one that says on cloud nine. I think that's so sweet, but we'll probably just put the logo there or simplify this. And then if you guys are interested, I'll take you through basically how I pitched brands and how I went about that with the rest of this, but we are like running out of time. So I think we're just going to get to this and I can do that in maybe a YouTube shorts or a TikTok or something like that, or maybe include it. When I actually, do you know what I'll do? I'll include it when I show you what I'm putting in the tote bags, what I was able to get my hands on. If you are interested in a video, <laughs> this person, Mr. Crafty Pants, like this video, it's called Cricut Iron-On Tutorial for Beginners. He uses this heat press, but I've clearly watched this video already a bajillion times. He's incredible. Like takes you through step-by-step step with the Cricut system. And I can't recommend this enough. If you are interested in doing this, I'm gonna link this down below. In my computer, I'm opening up the Cricut design space. That is what you need to have open to actually do all of this stuff. That is the space that you do all of the designing. So basically what I need to do from Canva is pull in my logo as a PNG, which means that it's a file that has a transparent background. And basically all the file is, is the logo. And then we will follow Mr. Crafty Pants because you actually have to invert it, but you can do that in the Cricut. I'm making it sound so complicated, but it is not complicated at all. But you have to invert it because then when you iron it on, it will go on straight. But I will have to um, export that PNG. This is the reality. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you guys are along this journey. This is one of six. So we did the light grip. This is actually all cut out. You just can't see it yet, which is what we have to do next. We have to weed out. It's called weeding. We're very hip on the lingo here. Um, weed out all of the bits that aren't a part of the pattern. And so we actually have to cut it now so that we can do that block. So that's gonna be soups fun. And then we basically turn it over and iron it on. And yeah, so we're gonna take this, we're gonna take this ruler and cut this off. So I am going to remove this vinyl and start weeding. And what my mom's doing is preheating the shirt. I mean, we're gonna have to do that again, but she's getting it all ironed out nice and smooth. And then once this is ready, you kind of do a preheat, but we can go through that. Six inches. Yeah. And that. This is. Oh, but are you measuring from angel wing to angel wing? Like measure from maybe this point, like this point and then that point. Yeah. So guys, we're officially done one. We did it all out. It looks incredible if I don't do say so myself. And on the other side, the blue is like, I love this blue. What we're trying to figure out now is like, where do we put it on the sweater and can we kind of create a rule 
because we have to recreate it so many times and we want them to look somewhat professional, I'd say. Probably the scary part. <clears throat> so, you can just literally go like, okay, so this is about, and then this is like about. So let's go from, um, let's go from this little bottom point here. So we've got about seven inches there. We're all just gonna be like standing there with our like backs, you know? So maybe like eyeball it from the top, but from the sides, we can try to, try to measure it. <laughs> oh yeah, moment of truth. We're gonna do the first peel. Okay, go for it. Oh, no, 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 it's not coming off. Oh no. Our first sweater, going into business. I actually am so obsessed with this logo. I love it. Some little bee need repressed just because that tree's a bit stubborn. Good morning, you guys. You're a little bit on the wonk. I hope that doesn't bother you too much. Last night, my mom and I finished at like 11 something. That was what we were guessing. Oh my gosh, they look so good. I'm so excited. Um, so basically what happened was I printed out all of the extra little decals for the bags, like just little ones, as well as their initials so that we know whose is whose if we're using them along the way. I am just so happy that we did that and I'm so grateful for my mom's help. Like, oh my gosh, I would have been up till like 4 a.m. Um, but yeah, so I ended up going to bed around midnight something. It is, oh my God, it's 8 a.m. Oh, definitely had like six and a half hours of sleep, but you know what, it's okay. I'm at the gym, I'm so happy. It's our last workout before going to Kelowna. And today I have also like a panel that I'm speaking on and I'm hosting and I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna get out all of those extra jitters. And the tan is looking amazing. Like not orange, not yellow, not green, literally brown. She did such a good job. I haven't rinsed it off yet. So I'm hoping that the sweat at the gym doesn't mess it up or anything like that. I don't think it will. And then I'm gonna go home and get ready for this panel. And hopefully so yawning. I hope you're having a great day. <laughs> the girls and I as well on the phone were just like messaging each other being like, okay, we're gonna check in at this time and try to get like this seat cluster, etc. etc. We're all just so excited and everyone's like, one more day. So it's just truly got me buzzing. As soon as I'm done this panel, it's gonna be full on bachelorette mode. It is officially time to pack for the bachelorette, but I gotta show you guys this. What is laid out here? These are the bags. My mom did such a good job at finishing up these bags for everybody. And she even put their respective Angel Crew sweaters in here and she even put tissue paper in it because she is the star. Vichy Laboratories, the absolute stars, they sent these, which is so, so kind. And they even sent a note saying, have such a fun time in The Bachelorette. We're going to need sunscreen and this will be perfect because it is face sunscreen and 60. Next up, if you have never heard of Chelsea King before, this is your true education. These are my absolute favorite scrunchies of all time. She, so Emily, who is the creator of Chelsea King, she sent me five of the Terry towel because Russi isn't gonna need one. Russell is my man of honor. And as well, this one, this is the original one that I pitched and it's a bit more of a fancy one. And it's so beautiful and I would say so bridal. And since we're gonna be doing some active things like being out and about, she was like, I'm also gonna send you the Terry Towel ones. Literally the kindest and the best scrunchies. I'm gonna tag these ones and then some of my other favorite ones down below. I have never, had this scent before. It is Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scent everything with this. And then whenever I smell this scent, it will remind me of this trip. These are also the glasses that you can get off of Amazon. They're about the, the turtle shell one. The girls already have these. I'm gonna bring one for Russell just so he feels included. And then we have three extras that I'm gonna pack away, but I wanted to show you. They already have those with them. And then I have a white pair for being the bride. And then as well, hello, hello, this light is a bit bright. So this is the sweater all done. I got us all medium, so we have like a really nice cozy sweater. And I am just so impressed 
with the back of it. I just took some iPhone footage, so maybe I can pop that in here as well. And then my rack over here is fully stacked, and I was just setting out my airplane outfit. I don't have enough time to film my what I'm bringing and packing on my bachelorette, so I think what I will do is I will actually film that after, and it'll be what I packed, and then actually what I loved about it, and then I can show you some photos too, so I will put together that whole video. And of course I'm gonna be vlogging along the way, along the bachelorette, so I will also be posting that, and it will have all of my other outfits in it as well. This is something I am so looking forward to. I can't wait to be with my girls and Russ. He's just included in that pack, obviously. And truly just have a vacation for a second because I've been working nonstop, like every second of the day and I literally just need a deep breath. Scotty's right about to come in the door. <laughs> and this girl, I'm gonna miss her so much. Um, she's concerned because the suitcase is out. Do you wanna say anything? Are those my shoes? No. Oh, I know I wanted to be cool like you. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else? I gotta go to the store, but I don't really want to tell you guys why. Oh, okay. I'll see you guys it's, soon. It's not weird. Love you. And <laughs> I know. Prescription. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you can watch your Hey, hi, sweet girl. I just got these sweatpants from Aritzia and they are incredible. I was debating on getting the ones with the cuff at the bottom, but I'm so glad I didn't. These are so comfortable. And look at the little pockets at the back. They are so adorable. This is gonna be the perfect plain outfit. And then I also got a pair of Nike high tops to wear with them and then just a white long sleeve just because it does get warm up in the air. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wear this long sleeve and then have this sweater with me as my overlayer in the morning because I don't want the girls to see it just yet. And then I'm gonna give them all their bags at the airport. So it's a bit of a mess behind me, but I had to show you guys this. So I got this Amazon, I got this bag off of Amazon and it is literally one of the best things that I have purchased this year full stop. It is the bag that I use to go to the gym. It has a zippable under pocket that I put shoes in and all of that stuff. I put my gym shoes down there. I put one of the packs for Russell um, because we're meeting him in Australia. So the packs that I just showed you. And then it's got two of these side pockets that I put like little things, sunglasses, wallet, phone, little bits and bobs like granola bar, hair elastics, all that stuff. And then the inside is quite big and it has these two side pockets that extend too. It came in quite a few colors. It has little vents. It has pockets inside, seriously. It also came with shoe bags that you could, you know, put your shoes in and then put it in it. Best purchase, best purchase. I'm gonna link this down below in multiple colors because I also kind of love the blue color, but I don't need it. <laughs> this one has been incredible. It has this little USB area too that you can pull a USB out. So I'm gonna use this as my personal item and then pack everything else in my carry-on because I've been instructed by my maid of honor that no one is checking a bag. It's honestly not that long. We shouldn't have to check a bag, but um, just in case we've got tons of stuff to bring along, but no one should check a bag because we want to be able to like get out of the airport as soon as possible. So all the girls' bags are packed here that I can bring to the airport separate so then they can basically put them separately in their luggage when I get there. But I do want a reaction shot of them all opening it individually and I will for sure add that to a vlog if it's not this one. Cause it might be, yeah, it's gonna be like the bachelorette vlog. So I'll bring those. I'm like, Amanda, do not forget those bags. So I'm gonna put them right at the front door and then start packing. psychosomatic thing that I think I'm just gonna be kind of distracted if I know that the camera is going and that you guys are there so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pack up everything because after that I would really love to have a full-on shower dry wash my hair so that I don't have to worry about that when we are out there so I am gonna love you and leave you and I'll see you in a, a couple of seconds but probably what will have taken me like an hour of packing packed my friends we'll see you in Kelowna Okay, love you guys, and we shall see you on The Bachelorette!